God bless y'all. Shalom. It's your boy, The Targeted Lion. I'm back. Today, I'm going to make a different video. I'm going to have pictures and information of research I did on gang stalking, Freemasonry, um, and secret societies and, the, and those that are behind our targeting. So first off, I'm going to say God bless and shalom. Let's read the, the word of God first. I'm in Proverbs chapter 4, verses 16. For they sleep not except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. And that's their purpose. So we're going to jump right into this first video. The Silent Dagger. Yesterday in my research, I discovered a Masonic code phrase that very accurately describes what I was experiencing in part two of my personal experiences. There is an organized, highly coordinated and highly secretive system of program of harassment and manipulation that is known as the Masonic Silent Dagger and is referred to as the Slow Dagger or the White Glove Treatment. I felt its effect firsthand across the span of years and possibly my whole life. It is a twisted combination of gang stalking, gaslighting, street theater, and possibly electronic harassment. More likely if the government or military is involved because they have much deeper pockets and opportunities for covering. Okay, and then we'll jump to this part. Most cults will use similar tactics if someone tries to escape. The Scientologists have fair game. The Mormon Church and Jehovah's Witnesses have disfellowship and i experienced the mormon version of years as a child and as an adult and their goal for that silent dagger treatment is to is to have us kill ourselves the end goal is for us to go crazy to be institutionalized but more importantly they want us to kill ourselves and then we are a sacrifice to satan because these people are devil worshipers now let's go jump into the masonic diversion tactics sidetrack opponents with name calling and ridicule this is also known as the primary attack the messenger ploy though other methods qualify as variants of that approach associate associate opponents with unpopular titles such as kook right-wing liberal left-wing terrorist conspiracy theorist radical militia member bigot racist religious fanatic crazy person slanderer sexual deviant and so forth this makes others shrink from support out of fear of gaining the same label and you avoid dealing with issues. See, they make up these lies, the smear campaign about you, and, and they call you these kind of things, racist, evil, pedophiles, homosexuals, and, that, and that's exactly what these people are. That's what they are. They project their sin and their wickedness and their demonic perverse spirits upon us you see what i'm saying the bible says we have the power of life and death in the tongue and they know what they're doing by making up lies and slandering us and, and bearing false witness okay and the last the last one i wanted to post is um this i got this off of quora i'm going to put my modest answer as man from the as a man from the middle east first off targeted individual as real as i am here because of that Second is the target individual is considered a threat because of something in his heart or aura that they can detect. I notice and feel that they are dark occult, that they are dark occult that abuse children and they have a gay agenda. I have been approached subtly by gay people and I always thought they are religious. That physical attack happened to me when I no longer watched porn and became clean. They also can detect that. Some of my family members, I feel that are part of the gang stalk that gang stalk you because you have a higher value of codes. That's all I know about them. They are child molesters and gays. They detect clean spirit and run and destroy. It. But that, but that buzzle is they want you to hate yourself. Therefore, become cruel and they want you to become away from God. They they are in compliance with supernatural agenda to convert and soul into cruelty and perversion. See, that's why if you're a straight man, they will constantly call you a pedophile or a homosexual, anything but who you are, anything but the way God made you. Because like this man said, which was great on Quora, his name is Eloy Alvaro. He said that they are a dark occult and they abuse children and have a gay agenda. And they said that they, 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 did, they detect a clean spirit and trying to ruin it. And that's the thing with this sexually perverse nation that we live in 
the homosexuality, the transgender, the pedophiles, the human trafficking, all this wicked perversion. They try to destroy the masculine man or the woman of God that's not a whore, that's not a lesbian, a man that's not gay, that's not, you know, sexually perverse. They can detect that clean spirit, that light, that aura that you have, my brothers and sisters, and they seek to destroy it. I want you to know, my brothers and sisters, that they gang up on us because of the power that God gave us. With all pride aside, my brothers and sisters, I'm not trying to make you feel better or be prideful or say that we're, you know, better than the next person. But it's because God gave us that purpose, that light, that divine calling. You know that that that, that light that you have. You know, I'll ride my bike around. I see children and they just wave at me. I don't say nothing to them. You know, that light that you have. The way that you have a way with people where you can talk to them and you enlighten them and you influence them. Just your energy and your vibe is just, uh, it's vibrant. It's, it's, it's. It's a light. It's something. It's a positive energy. It's a, a a a light. It's a spirit of God that's in you. That that that's beautiful. And that's tr seeking so much to to snuff that light out and destroy it. They're seeking so much to destroy that light. Wait, I have one more video that I actually wanted to um that I actually wanted to um recite. And this is this goes along with the the churches, the Masonic. Um, secret societies. The Catholic Inquisition used to smear innocent free thinking men and women and witches in order to have village mobs hunt them and kill them. The reason they did this was to kill off what they believed was the bloodline of Christ and other powerful family lines who threatened the power of the church. They never stopped doing these hunts and now have just disguised them as counterintelligence programs. The churches have the have the most comprehensive genealogy genealogy record dating back thousands of years in their books so they look for lineages and certain factors regarding certain children who come from these lines heritability recessive genes or traits signs of divinity or unique circumstances surrounding their births and they make deals with family members not connected to the lines to begin setting up their blood sacrifices it has always it has everything to do with establishing the nwa a, wo a one world religion and government killing off lines of link to Christ, God and powerful ancient rulers. 80% of targets are women. This is because it is strongly believed that the line is more prominent inherited through the female, although they target men too. This is why most witches were women, though not exclusively. Wow. They are targeting the bloodlines of Christ. They are targeting and trying to destroy those that have unique unique abilities unique divine divine purpose from god isn't that something my brothers and sisters and they make deals with family members to set up a blood sacrifice that is what that is what happened to christ he was a sacrifice think about it but they want us to see, Christ already paid the price. Our faith in him is how we endure. Our faith in Yahshua, Jesus Christ, Yahweh, the most high God, praise Yah. He's the one that is our redeemer. He's the one that pray, uh, paid for our sins. He's the one that delivers, uh, delivers us from our enemies. But look at this. They're trying to make us sacrifice ourselves. They're trying to destroy us or make us destroy ourselves. Because we have the impact. Because Jesus Christ Yeshua is Lord. I don't know your story, my brothers and sisters. I don't know how you were born. I don't know the trauma you went through. But I know that the true chosen ones by God are going to be hated. Every day of your life, spiritual warfare is always going to be, be there. You're always going to be hated. You're always going to be slandered. They're always going to talk about you. They're always going to make noises. I've even gotten phone calls and homosexual pictures from from foreign numbers, harassing calls, they're always going to try to harass us and destroy us because you have that light, because you have pureness about you. And it's not that you're perfect because I deal with lust. I deal with lust at times, my brothers and sisters, and I need prayer for that. Sometimes I slip into looking at naked women and looking at pornography. I, I, I was doing great for a whole, a, a good time, and then I slipped up. So I'm not sitting here as a, a man that is perfect. I'm not sitting here as a man that is better than the next. I'm sitting here as a man that knows that I need a savior. And Jesus Christ, Yahshua is that savior. And we are the ones that have the power to enlighten others. We are the ones 
that God has chosen in these beginning of sorrows, as nation rise against nation, as people try to kill and destroy what is righteous and 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 promote evil and wickedness in the world. We are the ones that speak out. Don't you see that? We're the ones that speak out just like Jesus did, like, like the disciples did, like the prophets did. Of course, they're going to call us crazy. Of course, they're going to try to destroy us. Of course, they're going to try to use every single tactic to try to destroy us, to manipulate our thoughts, to make us feel like we're guilty, to, to get us fired, harassed from jobs, to try to make us feel like we're insuperior, like, like we deserve this treatment. The, the devil is the father of lies. The Bible says there was no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus. The Bible says we are not ignorant to the devil's devices. I made this video, my brothers and sisters, to show you that there are many people that are going through this. That I got, I gained this information through Quora, through websites. The Bible says study yourself, study your, study to show yourself approved. And I'm not, and I'm definitely the word of God, but to also look into what we're going through. You're not crazy. You're not a bad, evil person. You are blessed by God. I want you to know you have a divine purpose from God to enlighten others, to be a light to this wicked world, to expose the kingdom of darkness, to bring souls to Christ, to free the prisoners from bondage in the name of Jesus Christ, Yahshua, Yahweh. I'm, you, I, I want this video to please share this so you can we can share this information that there are secret societies that we go against and they're all satanic. They all worship the devil and they're all trying to destroy the light and anyone that has that light. Remember that you are chosen, that you are a royal priesthood, that no weapon formed against you shall prosper, that if God is forced, then who could be against us? God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Please share this video. Please subscribe. Jesus Christ, Yeshua is Lord. And we will endure to the end and we will be saved. You have a purpose. Keep spreading that light and that love. And do not be afraid of them. Do not fear. For God doesn't give a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound mind. And I declare that on your mind, spirit, your body, in Jesus' name, and Yahshua's name. Shalom.